Well, welcome to the first video in our series on Microsoft OneNote 2010. Well, the first thing we should talk about is what OneNote is. It's actually a very simple program, but it solves a uh, very big need for a lot of people. OneNote is basically an electronic notebook, and you can create as many electronic notebooks as you want inside of OneNote, divide them up into sections, and have different pages inside of them. And again, they work just like a normal, uh, you can think of this sort of like a, a three ring binder where you can collect information from a variety of different sources or directly type in information. Now, this is the way OneNote is going to appear when you first start it up, unless you've actually created a default notebook. And you can see here, I have no notebooks open at this time. The three main areas that you're going to be working with inside of OneNote are this area right over here to the left, and that's going to be your navigation pane. And then you actually have the notebook itself in this area right here. You have the different pages for the different sections um, displayed over here. And then finally, you have the ribbon up here at the top that uh, gives you access to all the different commands that you're going to need to use um, inside of OneNote. And you're going to see this works much like any other Microsoft Office application where you have the different tabs. For instance, I'm on the Home tab right now. We've got an Insert tab, a Share tab, so on and so forth. If I come back to the Home tab, you're going to see that the different areas inside of this Home ribbon are actually divided up and labeled. For instance, I've got the clipboard area here, the basic text area here, the styles area here. So in this course, if I say go to the Home tab and look at the basic text section, what I would mean is click on Home and then go ahead and take a look at this basic um, text section. You also have a file tab right here. Now, if you've used any of the uh, Microsoft Office 2007 products, the file tab used to be a round button that had the Microsoft Office symbol on it. And um, it basically worked just like a menu. Here, if we click on the file tab, you're going to see it opens a complete new panel up for you that gives you a variety of different options and some settings over here. And again, these settings you're probably fairly familiar with, new, open, save as, they work exactly the same way here as they do in any other um, application. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a new notebook to work with. And you're going to see you've got three different options for places to store this notebook. You can store it on the web, you could store it somewhere on the network, or you could store it actually on your computer. Later, we're going to talk about how to create web notebooks, and this is a great new feature in uh, the 2010 version of OneNote. I'm going to go ahead and click on My Computer because that's where we want to uh, place it. And I'm going to go ahead and click in the name box here, and I'm just going to name this uh, notebook Project A. And then I choose a location to save it on. I'm actually going to save it on my desktop. But you can click the Browse button right here and browse to any location that you want. Now, once you actually go ahead and look at the location that you saved this notebook in, you're going to find that there's actually a folder has been created to hold all the different sections and pages in your notebook. So this um, OneNote notebook isn't like one isn't a one file document like let's say a Microsoft Word or a Microsoft Excel document would be. You're going to see a, a folder structure here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Create button. I need to scroll down here a little bit more. You'll see the Create Notebook button right here. I just go ahead and click on that. And I now have a notebook over here in my navigation pane called Project A. Now, one thing that we're going to be doing a lot inside of OneNote is right-clicking. And right-clicking will always bring a menu up of the most frequently used commands for whatever you right-click on. So, for instance, if I right-click on Project A here, I've got a Save As option. I've got an option to rename this if I wanted to. I could close it, as well as do several other things, such as create a new notebook directly from right here. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to structure a notebook inside of OneNote.